Okay, so today I'm going to do a short little tutorial on Sew Machine Basic. Uh, this is a small, this is a Schneider free uh, download that you can get by just Googling um, Schneider or Sew Machine. Uh, this way here, you guys can get a little understanding on how the PLC programming will work. And uh, by doing so, so once you download the program, you guys will be able to kind of, you know, get to this screen here. And from this point here, I'm going to show you some basic tips on creating a circuit and how to test it using the simulator. Hi, my name is Craig Michaud. I am the electrical instructor. And today's our little tutorial on the sew machine uh, basic. Okay. So when you go through and you download your program, you go ahead and you click, you know, down at the bottom, you click your uh, your little thumbnail there. And what will happen next is you'll get this screen. When you get this screen here, uh, you'll be able to, you know, see that there's a lot of different steps that we're going to have to go through. Properties, configuration, programming, uh, display, commissioning. We're going to cover the properties through programming portion of it at this point. Because, uh, again, this is more of a um, student learning uh, trying to show students how to how to manipulate and make a circuit and how it works. So, uh, so what we'll do is we're going to come up here. When you get this screen, you got the red X here. We got to get rid of those red X. So we're going to click active and active and active. Don't worry about this whole downloading thing because that all has to do with commissioning, uh, which we'll show you in another video. Go down and click apply. Once you click apply and you get rid of that red X, that means you're in good shape. Now we're going to go to configuration. Well, this one here, I've already have the, um, I already have the M221 uh, 16R that we use in school. So all you're going to do is you're going to click it and then you're just going to drag it over. Once you drag it over, you let it go. It'll ask you if you want to replace it. You'll say yes, and what it will do is it will replace it. Now, um, if you're using this program for the first time, a lot of times what happens is, is there is another controller that's there. All you have to do is go over here, click the one you're going to be using, and drop it over there. Because, again, it's, it's a very basic, simple, free system that anybody can you know, use to play around with, which is, which is actually pretty good. Uh, it'll give you a little understanding on how things work, especially once we show you how the simulator works. All right, so what we'll do is now that we've got it configured, we know what we're using because it's going to allow us certain um, digital inputs and outputs. We get to this screen here, and right now it's we got the red X because we have nothing here. So what we're going to be looking for is building out a circuit. So ladder logic is something that we've used in basic motor controls and um, you know, as long as you understand normally open and normally closed, what a coil is, things of that nature, you know, you, you've already are a little bit ahead of the game at this point. Okay. So, um, like I said, this is a basic tutorial for students so that they can see how we actually use these to build, build programs. So again, like I said, we're going to do a nice basic circuit okay so at this point here we've got our first rung which is rung zero okay and up here we have our contacts we have a normally open and normally closed contact over here we're going to have our coil now eventually we'll get into some more stuff with other videos on how to use different things but again this is our first tutorial on you know building out a basic and how to use the simulator okay so what we're going to do is we're going to do a basic circuit. So we're going to go over here. We're going to grab a normally open contact. We're going to click it. When you see that it's dark, that means you can drag it. You can drag it down here, let it go, click it, and it will stay where it needs to be. So we just put a normally open contact that's all unaddressed into our circuit. Well, we all know that if we have something, whether it be a light or a coil, we're going to need to get that as well. So we're going to go up here and we're going to use this as the coil. So we're going to, again, click this and drag it down here and then click it again. And you'll see how we complete the circuit. Okay. 
Now, like I said, this is just basic. We're just doing a normally open contact with the coil just to give you the basic understanding of what we're doing. Okay, so the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to tools and we're gonna click tools. You're gonna come down here where you see IO objects. You're gonna click the green arrow and it's gonna give you some inputs and output drop down. Now, we're using the M221. So we're gonna be only focusing on these digital and uh, the, the digital input and outputs, okay? Uh, we're not gonna worry about anything else through here at this point. Uh, again, this is just our basic tutorial. Let's go to our digital inputs, okay? So we'll click digital inputs. It's gonna give us all our addresses. So something you need to remember that in PLC or, or programmable logic controllers, um, the I is always going to stand for inputs, okay? Um, you know, this is something that, you know, as you go through, you do some more reading when they talk about inputs or uh, imp whether it be digital or analog, the input is always here, okay? So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to click on this first because we're going to start with zero, zero, and we're going to click this and it's going to give us our green box, meaning we're in pretty good shape. So we're gonna use this as our start button. So if we press the start button, it's gonna give us a reaction, just like our momentary button. We're gonna call this start. Okay, once you get this red box here, okay, that doesn't mean it's saved. Click the space bar, that green box will come up, you know you're in good shape. And because we're only dealing with these two, this is what we're gonna deal with, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over here to click our digital output because we have our output over here, which is our coil. We're gonna, oh, we're gonna go down here. We're gonna go down here and hit apply. We're gonna go back. Again, gotta make sure you always hit apply. So learn from my mistake. So we're gonna click our digital input again. We're gonna go down here, we're gonna double click. We're going to type in start. That would be start. Space bar. We're going to go down here to apply. Okay. Now we've got that saved. We're going to go over here to digital inputs or outputs, excuse me. And outputs are going to be designated as Q. So by using understanding that an I is a sensing device or some type of input, whether it be a push button, a float switch, a limit switch, whatever that may be, that's what you're going to use as your um, inputs, okay? Now, your opposite reaction, which is gonna be your output, okay? That's gonna be something like a coil on a relay or um, a light or something to that nature, okay? So again, just like we did the inputs, we're gonna go down here, we're gonna click the Q00, and we're gonna just, we're just gonna call this light, okay? I'm just gonna call this light. So we'll just see if we press the button. Um, I typically do with my students, their first project is hooking up a normally open contact to a light so that they press the button, they see the light comes on and they see how um, the power is transferred to the light. The light comes on, they take their finger off it, just being a momentary button. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here, we're gonna hit apply, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back up to the top and we're gonna click address and you're going to get the percent symbol okay what we're going to need to do first is we're going to have to type in i and when we type in i we're going to get a list of the output or the inputs that are available to us okay well we just used zero zero so we're going to click zero zero and you can see on the screen here how start came up okay so now that start is there it's already tagged it for us it saved us a little bit the thing is is if you don't label your contacts, regardless what it is, they, they really don't want to work, okay? Plus, it's good for us to know what everything is addressed as so that when you start doing larger projects, that makes more sense, okay? So then we're going to go back over here. We're going to get the percent symbol again. Remember, we're doing a coil or a light, so we're going to call that Q. So we're going to tap Q. We're going to get the same thing. We're going to click zero, zero, okay? And that's going to come up as a light, okay? So now at this point here, we've completed a circuit, okay? We've got our power coming in, it's going through our coil, or excuse me, it's going through our contacts, it's going to our coil, and here we are, 
All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go up here. Okay, watch my mouse. We're gonna go up here to this little cross uh, where it's gonna say launch simulator. Okay, and we're gonna click that. Now, the reason we're gonna click this now is because we're gonna test our project. But I am gonna tell you as soon as this thing sets up here, uh, when you look at your box here, you see how we have a check with, you know, that's in green. That's basically telling us that we have a complete circuit, okay? It's a true circuit. So uh, if we don't have a true circuit, if we drew something that wasn't the same or if it was missing, whether it be the address or something, this way here, uh, we would know that we have more stuff to do before we try using the simulator. Um, the reason we want to check it with the simulator is because when we do get to that point where we're going to upload to the actual controller, we want to make sure everything is true so that when, um, you know, we upload, we're uploading a complete program, okay? So as you can see, and I'm just going to move this over here, as you can see, we've got run ready to go. So we're actually ready to go. Once we click this, and we get into this situation here, you see how we have play and, um, you know, this, this is our big, basically our play button because we're trying to make sure that our system works. So what we're gonna do is we know everything's true. So let's click play, okay? And we're gonna hit okay because we wanna use the simulator. So basically what we just did is we just got to a situation where run is now solid. Once you see run as being solid, that means you're in, Complete simulation mode. Everything you do will work if it's done correctly, okay? So what we're gonna do is we have input zero, okay, as a push button. We're gonna call that a start push button. We're gonna click zero, okay? We're gonna come over here to the simulator, click zero as if we were pushing in the button and our light's gonna come on, okay? This is gonna then show us that output zero is also being used, okay? So again, this gives us our opportunity here to make sure that it's gonna work. Now, when we unclick the zero, everything goes off. So once you get to this point here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you hit stop because you wanna get out of the simulation mode, okay? And I'll have to say yes, we wanna stop the controller. So what I wanna do now is, I want to get I want to get rid of this. So now, now I'm going to double click, and I'm going to get rid of the simulator. Okay. So now I'm back to my program mode. So at this point, if I wanted to add another ROM, I could go up here to add ROM, and it's going to add another ROM. So what we'll do is we're going to add another ROM, but what we're going to do is we're going to add another normally uh, normally open contact which we're gonna drag down here. We're gonna take another one of these coils. We're gonna drag it down here. Okay, and that's gonna be set there. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna address this as input two. Okay, so we're gonna call this input, or excuse me, input zero one. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna address this as Q, which is our output, zero one as well. So basically what we did is we just created another circuit. Now we do have a good, a good circuit. We're gonna come down here to Q1 and we're gonna call this coil. Okay. Now keep in mind in other projects, we may be changing this. We're gonna call this supply. So you see where coil popped up because you can do it afterwards as well. You don't have to do it first. Okay, we're gonna come over here to start and we're gonna call this uh, Okay, so now that we've got that, we're gonna come over here, it's in green. We're gonna apply it, we're gonna call it a switch. So it could be anything, we could call this a switch. We're gonna go back up. We're gonna test because now that we have another project here, we're just gonna go through the simulator stage. Okay, we know we're good because we have two checks in our line. We're gonna press start. Yes, I wanna launch the controller. We're in good shape, run is now solid. I'm gonna press zero, which we know already works. 
Then I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna press one, and we know our other coil works. Now, if I turn off zero, it's gonna turn off the light, but if I come down here and I click my switch, it's gonna turn off my coil, okay? Again, very basic, we're not looking to do anything crazy. We just need to understand that when we do the uh, basic program for the M221, um, the sew machine is, is great training, okay? Um, again, like I said, we're gonna go through, you know, I'm gonna create other videos that's gonna take us step-by-step step through some bigger projects. You know, we'll do start, stop, and we'll do, um, you know, different things to show you that you can take everything you learned in basic motor controls and turn it into a ladder logic where when you do get to the opportunity to wire in the PLC controller, you're gonna wire just a little bit different, but the logic still is the same, okay? Uh, one of the things that I do to tell my students is always say, hey, you know, make sure you understand what the contacts do. What do they need? What's normally open? What's normally closed? What's a, con what's a coil, what's a light, you know, understand how they're all working. You know, when we get into different sensing devices, you know, in, in future videos, we're gonna talk about counters, we're gonna talk about on delays and off delays, um, different things like that. And I'm gonna take you through a tutorial step-by-step -step on how to do it, how to test it to make sure you did it correctly, okay? So with that being said, like I, said from the beginning, this is just a basic tutorial on how to use the Sew Machine Basic program that anybody can download online and practice to use and create their own PLC programs, okay? Um, you know, there's a lot of different things that we're gonna be able to cover. Um, I'm thinking I could probably get maybe six or uh, eight videos out of this of different things that I wanna go through step-by-step. Step. So this is just the beginning. Um, if you're interested and you want to know more, go on to the Schneider website. You can, there's a bunch of tutorials on there as well. Uh, but, you know, if you want to stick with me and just kind of go step by step through this and just learn how to do this, you know, basic programming, that would be great. Okay. So if you haven't already, do me a favor, um, you know, hit that like button. Let me know that, you know, you like this video. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, please comment down below. Do you like to see more videos? That would be great. Um, you know, again, and if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe to my channel because I'm definitely looking to increase more of these videos. Um, and again, like everything else, you know, the, the more people watching, the more it's going to make me want to do these videos. So, all right. Well, I hope you learned something today. Have a great day and be safe.